Hey there, this is Chris Elliott over at Remax Action Real Estate. Hope you're having a great afternoon, great morning, whatever time you're seeing this. Uh, coming at you live today with your Richmond Real Estate Market Update for the month of April 2019. So <clears throat> want to start off today, as we do as always, uh, looking back a month, looking at the stats from March, comparing those to uh, February and then also to, uh, to March of last year. As far as the numbers from March, uh, from February to March, pretty much everything is up. Uh, activity has surged from February to March and we're seeing the same thing going into April. Uh, the spring market is definitely here and in full effect. A couple stats I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, pended listings are up 4% from uh, March of last year and new listings are down 5% from March of last year. So if you paid attention to what I said, the amount of listings that are selling is 4% up and the amount of listings that are available or have come to market is 5% down. So we've got about a 9% delta there. Uh, simple economic supply and demand. There's more homes that are being sold. There's less homes that are becoming available. So we're seeing homes sell quicker and quicker and for more and more money. Uh, all of which is great news if you're selling. Uh, not as fun as if you're buying, but mortgage rates have been uh, phenomenal uh, here lately. So that's that. Uh, the average sales price uh, was up 5% in the month of, month of March from March of last year. Month supply of inventory is uh, still very, very low at 1.81 month supply of inventory. And just for reference, uh, six month supply of inventory is a, what's considered a neutral market. Anything below six months is what's considered a seller's market. Um, and we're at 1.81 month supply of inventory. So very, very much still a seller's market. So what does this mean to you? If you're somebody that's selling your home, uh, realize that now we are in the spring market. The spring market is in full effect. If you've been waiting, uh, don't be waiting any longer. Uh, we recommend go ahead and talk to a local real estate professional. Um, now is the time to go ahead and get your property prepped, get it on the market as soon as possible. Uh, now is go time, basically. We've got about 60 days uh, from the day that I'm recording this on April the 16th till uh, the time when the kids get out of school. We usually see a good Good little surge of activity uh, over this 60 day period. Uh, activity does tend to taper down just a little bit during the summer months as people start going on a vacation, they're out of town and kind of their focus shifts from, um, from house buying to just enjoying some time with family. So go ahead and take advantage of this market if you're somebody that's looking to sell. Um, a, a, another thing uh, that we always encourage folks to uh, to consider this, uh, you know, when we're in these hot markets that we're in, uh, we do see some folks folks that stray away from the fundamentals of just good real estate sales. Um, so because the market is so hot, we see folks that you know want to grossly overprice their property. Uh, they don't hire agents that fully market the property because they think the market will just um, you know sell the property itself. Uh, and then we also see folks that aren't staging the property well. So um, we always encourage our clients stick to the fundamentals. Let's stick to what works. Let's take full advantage of this market and sell for the most amount of money that we possibly can. And if you're out there and, and you're you know grossly overpricing the property, you're, you're, you're not staging it properly, you're not working with a real estate professional that's gonna market your property, you may just sell your property, but the scary thing is you might sell your property for less than it potentially can. So we're encouraging our folks, our clients to, um, hey, let's stick to the fundamentals. Let, let's really squeeze this opportunity for all it's worth and let's sell for the most amount of money that we can in this great market that we're in. Uh, and one last tip that I'll leave you with, you know, depending on the area, depending on the price point, you might want to consider, consider a delayed reviewing of offers. So how this works is most of the time we're just kind of uh, listing a property on a first come first serve basis. So, hey, if we list on Thursday, we get an offer on Friday, we're going to potentially review that offer and maybe not even wait until Saturday. Uh, if I've got a listing that I absolutely know is going to sell, Typically what we'll do is we'll list the property on Thursday and then we'll say, hey, we're gonna review all offers on Monday just because we want everybody to be able to get a look at the property over the weekend before we um, before we start considering any offers. Uh, that that uh, that strategy can backfire on you if you only get one offer or if, you know, if uh, it turns people away. So I typically only like to do that on listings that we absolutely know we're gonna sell. So those are some tips there. Uh, if you're buying, Rates are really good right now. Uh, rates took a little bit of a dip, so it's a great time to buy as far as uh, mortgage financing goes. The problem that you're gonna have is finding inventory and jumping on it quick enough. So uh, we tell our buyer clients, hey, just know going into it, it's gonna be a competitive situation in, in the majority of price points in our area. Um, one thing that you may wanna decide up front is how you can be creative with the offer and what terms can you bend on. So hey, we know we're gonna have to give a phenomenal price on most properties. 
Uh, but what terms can we bend on? Can we let a seller stay in the property for a certain amount of time over closing? Can we do a longer closing? Can we do a quick closing? Uh, are there certain things that we can give up just to be able to get the property? And that's kind of the reality of the market that we're in. Uh, of course, you absolutely want to have your financing uh, ready and in order. Um, because once a property pops up, you're going to have to, to jump on it quickly. So just be ready to jump on properties quickly as they come on the market. So hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, that is your market update for the month of April. Hope y'all are doing well and uh, we will catch you next month.